When we're out looking for duck nests, we, uh, we, we note the incredible variation in egg size. And what you're looking at right here are dabbling ducks. And here you have two mallard eggs. Mallards are the largest of the dabbling ducks breeding up here on the prairies. And blue-winged teal are the smallest of the common uh, dabbling ducks. And you see the difference in egg size. So it's not surprising that a mallard, which weighs almost two pounds, is going to have a larger egg size than a blue-winged teal, which weighs much less than one pound on average, about two-thirds of a pound. But what's really interesting is when you contrast these eggs, let me keep two of them, with diving ducks. So we're in Manitoba where we have lots of diving ducks, and you bring in a canvasback egg. Now a canvasback weighs a little bit less than a female mallard, but look at that egg. It's a lot larger. So that's real typical, canvasback and mallard. And the color is pretty typical too. Cans are green and mallards are anywhere from tan to greenish like that. But the diving ducks for the same body size lay much larger eggs than do dabbling ducks. And that's because diving duck ducklings dive for food pretty soon after they're hatched. Within a few days, they're gonna start diving short distances and mallards don't do that. But the really exciting one, and, and let me show you the really exciting one. That one's the crazy one. That's a ruddy duck egg. So this canvas back weighs about the same as a mallard, a little less than two pounds. This ruddy duck weighs just a pound and a quarter, a pound and a third, 600 grams, and yet it's laying this huge egg. This egg is almost twice the weight of a mallard egg on average. So they lay these really large eggs, and that's because ruddy duck ducklings dive right away. When they're in their first day af after hatch, they're gonna start diving for food. And they actually lose weight as ducklings for about a week. So mom has to provision the egg with lots of nutrients, and the duckling hatches with lots of nutrients and can learn how to forage using the stored nutrients that are, that are in the duckling's body. And after a week, they start gaining weight and grow rapidly but they'll dive and they'll go down and feed on midge larvae in the mud. So there we go, we have the five eggs. Ruddy duck egg, largest egg here on the prairies. Canvas back, second largest. And then redheads right behind cans. Similar size duck, just a little smaller. Mallard eggs, and then blue wing teal eggs. And if we had a green wing, it would be even smaller than that blue wing. But this blue wing egg is, you know, those two ducks are quite similar in size. The ruddy duck is a little bit larger than a blue wing, but huge difference in egg size. So that's the diver and the dabbler.